Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 8. Um, and this is Classic Sudoku 3, um, which was, of course, another puzzle from the puzzle creators from Great Britain. Britain. Um, and this is another puzzle by Tom Collier. And um, this is a 35-point classic um, puzzle. So this one, they're definitely stepping up. This one is supposed to take nearly twice as long as the first puzzle in the series did. Hopefully I won't, because I'll be doing a little bit less explaining. So... Um, Let's have a look at the rules. Um, we have normal Sudoku rules. So into every box, into every row, and into every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Now, of course, in the description below will be a link to this puzzle, as well as to ev the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Um, I think that's all the information you need. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I'm expecting this one to be a little bit more tricky, although I do have fours looking into box four. Four and four tells me a four. So there's a hint. I've also got fours looking into box two, putting four into one of those two. Four, no. Okay, next digit. I'm, I'm hunting digits. Yeah, okay, so sixes can't be here or here. So I've got pointing sixes here, which puts six up here, but I don't want to pencil mark that just yet. Um, nine? Yeah, nine is good. Nine can only be in one of those two cells because of the nines looking into the box, which puts nine down here, but removing not from there because of that one. So I've got nines in one of those. Do I have... This is actually quite restricted. It can't be one, two, three, four, five. It can only be six or seven because it can't be eight or nine. Hmm, I was hoping that would do more. So two is only in one of those two spots because of pointing twos. Hmm. Step up in difficulty on a puzzle type that Bremster is not good at. So ones are not in any of those. So one is in one of those two. I will absolutely pencil mark that. I feel something going on with sixes. Well, I know five. No, no, no. Fives. Fives, fives, fives. Um, five's not in here. So five is in one of these two because of the five not being here, which puts five up here, but five can't go here or here. So this is a five. Now these are just six, seven, eight, nine, and this can't be eight or nine. So this is another six, seven, um, because this now sees every digit except six or seven. And now this becomes an eight, nine pair. That I like. Very cool. Um, now, it's not helping me at this point, but I like it. If I could resolve the six, seven, that would be cool. Nine is in one of those. Five is in one of those. I can't, don't seem to be able to do anything with the others. Two, ah, two, 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 two. Two is not in any of those or here. This is a two, which puts two in one of those two. Six is restricted in this box. Six is only in one of those two. I was about to make a reverse, uh, uh, a reverse interesting deduction, which is eight has to be down here, which puts eight in one of those three. But I know that already. Seven in this column is a bit restricted. It can only go in one of two cells, but I'm not seeing what to do with that. Ah, far, keep going with fives. Five is not in any of those or here. This is now a five, which puts down, looks down putting five in one of those two, but it's not there. So this is a five, which puts five in one of those two. So five is in one of these two. And now I've got this pattern on fives, which will resolve itself one way or the other. If this is a five, this is a five, and this is a five. So if this is a five, this is a five, and this is a five, this is a five, this is a five, and this is a five. Don't know which way that's going to go. I need one of those to resolve the rest. Um... 
Right. So two is in one of those two now. Because it can't go in these, and these are six, seven, eight, nine. But I've got the five. So these are one, uh, one, two, and three have to go in there, but I'm not seeing what to do with that. Four, however, is in one of these two because of this four and this four taking up all of those. So four is in one of those two, which puts four in one of those three. But again, not that helpful. If you're looking for um, like phenomenal classic solving techniques, I'm trying to explain basics here, then um, I highly recommend the Sudoku channel. Um, oh my Lord. The name has left my head. Oh, now I've got, I don't want to edit this. Um, oh, I've made the recommendation before. I'll try and remember for the next puzzle. Or if it comes to me, I'll try and do it. I'll try and tell you what it was. Um, now my brain is off because I'm trying to remember the name of a different YouTube channel. Um, I distracted myself to try and be helpful. Ah, no, seven in box three. Seven can't be in any of those. Seven can't be in any of those. Since I got this five, this is now the seven, which means this is a seven by Sudoku, which puts seven in one of these. So seven can't go here or here. Um, sorry, seven can't go here or here. So seven's in one of those, which means seven's not in any of those. This is the seven. This is the six. Now. Seven is in one of those. Is it sixes now? This is a triple. Two, three, and eight. There's no eight here. So eight is in one of those two. So now eight is in one of these two. This is looking more and more restricted, isn't it? Uh, not really, actually. It sees one, two, it can be three, four, five, six. So this is only three or six, actually. It is a bit restricted. The, the digits not placed in this row are one, two, three, and nine, which makes sense for the two, three here. This can't be one, two. So this is three or nine because the one has, yeah, it sees a one and a two. So this is three or nine. That I think could be any of them and that could be any of them. This is a quadruple, one, two, three, and six. No. Seven. No, keep going with sevens. Seven is not in any of those, and this seven is looking down. So this is the seven, and I just removed the pencil mark location of a six. So this becomes a six, which removed the pencil mark location of a five. This becomes a five, and now I can remo uh, resolve that five pattern I was talking about earlier. There you go. Six and six means six is now in one of those two. And I was wondering if I could do something here, but I'm not seeing it. Four is now in one of those two because I can't put four in any of those or any of those. So four is in one of those two, which puts four down here in one of these two. This is only six, eight or nine. It sees one, two, three, uh, four and five. So this is six, seven, eight or nine, and it can't be a seven. So six, eight or nine. So where's three in this row? No. One, two, three, 
Where's seven in this row? That's a hidden single. I can't put seven here. I can't put seven here. I can't put seven here. And I can't put seven here. That's a seven. Which has now made this a four seven pair because I can't put four or seven into any cells except those two. That's a four seven pair. So I know what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. These are three and eight only, and the eight is looking up, making that the three and that the eight. Really nice logic. This isn't the eight, so this is a six nine pair for the row, and the nine is looking up, making that the six, that the nine. Bam, that's not the six anymore. Six is in one of these two by Sudoku. This isn't a nine, I've already placed the nine in the box. Three now has to go in one of these two by Sudoku. Not sure about the eight though. So they're one, three, six, and eight. So this is only one or three because it can't be six or eight. Okay. Well, here's something really powerful. See this too? It's now looking up, and this is probably where I should have gone earlier. This would have made, gotten a lot more results a lot faster, and speed solvers would have done this. This too can't be in any of those. So it has to be in one of those two cells to fit in the box. And that's going to look across removing two from those, making this a three, eight pair. This now has to be the two, looking down saying that's not the two, that's the two, looking across saying that's not the two, that's the two. And which looks up saying that's not the two, that's the two. This two looks across saying that's not the two. So I put two here, overwriting the pencil mark location of an eight. And in this row, I haven't put three or six, so this has to be a three or a six. That was cool. So these, this row is missing one, three, and nine. Yeah, I'm not sure. This column? I've got four digits up here, but there's only three cells. Yeah, this three is looking up, making this the six, which looks across making this the three, removing three from here. Three has to be in one of those two. This isn't the six anymore. This column is only missing one and four. So these have to be one and four. The digits missing in this box, there must be a six in one of these two. Because Yeah, where do I put six in this box? This six removes here, those aren't available, and there's no sixes in those. That's a six. So this is a one or a nine, and the nine is looking up, making this the one and this the nine. The one will look across saying that's not the one, so it's a four. Therefore, this has to be the one by pencil mark. This isn't the four, and this is now a three nine pair, but the three eight is making that the nine and that the three. Excellent. This for the column now has to be four or seven, but the seven makes that the four, which makes that the seven, which makes that the four. The four makes that the one, which confirms by making the column correct. I haven't put a three or a nine into this box or this column. Either way. This row is missing a one and a three, so these are a one and a three, and the three looks down making that the one and that the three, which looks up saying that's not the three, that's the three, which of course makes this the one. This is a triple now, four, eight, and nine. There's already a four and a nine, so that becomes the eight, take out the eight. The four, the no uh, four and the nine, the nine resolves it, making that the four and that the nine. The four looks down saying that's not the four, that's the four, and the digit I haven't placed in this box already is the eight. The eight looks across, making that the nine and that the eight. The nine looks back, making that the three and that the nine. This is a triple, and I'm just, I know I could do it by scanning columns, but I find it easier if I just put the triple in, one, three, six, and then see, well, there's a one and a six, and then I put the three in. I just find it easier because I've already got the digits in my head. I don't have to count. I can just look for what I've already discovered. It, maybe I'm not explaining that well, but hopefully you can follow what I'm doing. The three looks up, making that the eight and that the three. And now I do want to figure out what these are. 
Um, one goes in one of those two, and I'm going to use the corner marks to do it. Two, three, four, five, six is in one of those two. Can't see how to resolve those, but I need to put a seven and an eight in. So this is a six, eight pair because I can't put eight down here. The eight makes this the six, which makes this the eight. These are one and seven, but I can use the six to look down to make that the one that the one and that six, and the one to look up to make that the seven and that the one, and that is the correct solution to the puzzle. Again, I'm getting slower. Um, I'm not doing a world champion speed solve time. Um, you know, I think they would be aiming to do this in under four minutes. I'm taking a little over three times a world champion speed. I'm cool with that. Um, if I... Uh, it, as I said, I don't mind. Um, if you can get value out of the video and understand what I'm doing, way more important to me. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.